What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Avery. And if you play my videos in two times speed, I'm going to talk very slowly as I tell you to smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. I was talking with a buddy of mine. He says he plays my videos in two times speed. And he skips our ultra ball jokes. Well, I'll have you know that my ball is very hard as we make a video on Morphotronic FTK, bitches. <laughs> so I told y'all that this deck was good. I didn't know it was going to be top eight regional good, but yeah, this this baby back bullshit top eight at a regional. So let's just dive on into this deck profile. So he's playing a Dark World Danger deck with Telephon and Double Saryuja Skull Dread getting out cannon soldier and just shitting on people's days <clears throat> so we are playing one copy of zephyrus the elite three copies of brow one copy of cannon soldier two danger bigfoot three chupacabra two dogman three mothman three nessie two ogo pogo which is just surprising i really like the artwork on this on this card like it still looks really nice um two thunderbird one jackalope one suchinoko three of your wing condition, uh, one copy of Shadal Beast, and three copies of Snow. And then for the spells, we're playing three Allure, one card Destruction, one Foolish Barrel, one Monsterborn, one One for One, and two, the beginning of the end. This card's still busted. I don't care what anyone says. If you have seven or more dark monsters in your grave, you banish five dark monsters from your grave to draw three. Like, holy balls. You have 14 darks in your grave, you can just banish 10 to draw six. You can't tell me that's not good. So essentially... What you're doing here, from what I can tell just at a glance, is that you are just turboing through your deck like a no tomorrow. Hope to God that you don't get Droll and Lockbird, because if you get Droll and Lockbirded, you just lose the game. Um, to get yourself to Cannon Soldier in your hand, and then Special Summon out Saryuja, and then of course keep on using the Telephons over and over to keep on bringing them out and making Link plays and things like that. For the side deck, we're playing two copies of Nibiru, three Giant Ball Sacks, Two token collectors, one in Garua and one Starving Venom with the three Super Polys because, you know, we need our targets. Three copies of Deck Dev because you're playing a bunch of Dark Monsters with a high amount of attack. Um, at, again, at a glance, like I haven't tested this and just know this very well. I'm just looking here at, you know, what the build is. But with the Deck Devies in the side, probably what this player was doing was that after like game one, probably just cheesing them game one or game two, maybe even game three with, with the Morphtronic FTK and Telephon and Cannon Soldier and all that, but then side decking into Deck Devi and just using these high attack Dark Monsters to like shit on Sprite. Because keep in mind, if Sprite gets Deck Devi, they lose the fucking ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Like you can kill the deck with Deck Dev unless they're playing some sort of spice that, you know, somehow gets around Deck Dev. For the extra deck, we're playing one Numeron Dragon, one Hope Harbinger, one Dugaris, one Photon Lord, and one Dragalubion. You can play all these high levels because keep in mind that you're running a big danger package, so you're going to have all these different levels of monsters and things like that. We're playing one Access Code, one Apollosa, one Halky Fibrax because it's broken, one Curios, one Dark, one Phoenix, one Unicorn, one Link Rebo, and then two copies of Saryuja. Keep in mind that Saryuja is not a hard once per turn. So if you can make one to draw four and put back three, and then you make a second one, you can still draw four and put back three as long as you use four materials. I remember back when this card first got revealed and everyone was playing it, that people were saying that it needed to be banned. You know... I, I do feel like it at least needs to go to one at some point, if not ban, just because of the fact that it's not a hard once per turn. Like, if I'm playing three Saryuja, and I'm able to commit, you know, basically three monsters plus the Saryuja to make a second and a third to just draw four and put back three, like, you can't tell me that that's not good. Like, is it seeing a lot of play? No, but the fact that that's still an option in 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh! just seems a bit too much to me. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't think that's, that this deck, I was about to say Sprite, that Morphtronic FTK would, you know, win a regional, or in this case, top eight, but, I mean, it, it did, you know, just looking at a glance here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so you one for one, what, this says send, so it doesn't count for discarding, so, I guess you ditch like an Ogopogo, what level ones do you have? Oh, that gets you to Telephon. Wow, I'm an idiot. So you go one for one, ditch really anything. Go for Telephon, and then you've got your dangers to like just start deck thinning. You've got the brow to draw you even more cards if they get ditched off the danger effect. And then you just dig in for your other Telephons and you just start going to town. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. This isn't too bad. Uh, you set beginning of the end. You activate a lure, draw into brow and Mothman. 
I guess you banish the dog man here, maybe. Uh, use Mothman, maybe ditch a brow, summon it, draw. Brow's going to draw you another card. Like, it, yeah, you're just, you're drawing all day. Um, this deck actually seems like a lot of fun. Like, just kind of doing some test hands. Like, this deck looks like a lot of fun. And keep in mind, like, I mean, yeah, you may not, like, top eight a regional if you take this because people will be prepared for it. But, I mean, if you want to pants people, like I said in my previous deck profile when I first showcased this deck, like, it's something that is going to pants people. Like, unless someone has the imperm for the cannon soldier, which this deck also loses to now that I think about it. Um, if, if, like, you know, they're not able to negate it with something, which they don't really have anything in the extra deck here to stop that. Hope Harbinger stops spells. Photon Lord stops monster effects. Yeah, so you have no way to stop imperm here in this deck at all. So you imperm the cannon soldier and they lose. Um, or they just have to build a board and negates his backup. So I'm sure that there's more to this deck than just FTKing. But when you're going just for that FTK, when you have so much draw power in the deck, yeah, uh, Cannon Soldier is going to get banned. Every variation of Cannon Soldier will get banned. They'll probably ban Telephone maybe at some point. Um, but not right now because it just came out. So guys, please, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think Mortronic FTK is viable? I mean, it's top to eight at a regional. Can we officially say that it's viable now? So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.